What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the the podcast. Uh, hold on, let me, let me turn this. Man, it's hot as hell. If you wonder why I ain't got no shirt on, man, you offended for me not wearing a shirt. It's super hot. I was just cooking, and when I cook in my apartment, I don't know why it gets just like extra, extra hot. So, on this fan. Turn this fan off so it's not too noisy. Yeah, but it gets like extra, extra hot in my apartment. So, man, you're gonna have to do it without the shirt. Man, and I'm super red, man. Look at my back. I got hella sunburn on my back. It feels like my skin is on fire right now, man. That shit, man, that shit ain't no joke. At least I can actually start looking like a mix now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm always like, like, out of the whole family, out of my whole family, I'm always the, I'm the white, the lightest one, like the whitest skin person, you know? Everybody's got like that, that mixed complexion, but I got like white skin, but you know, now that I got the beard, I don't usually get that. I usually get like Puerto Rican or Cuban. Well, no, not Puerto Rican, Arab, you know, some the, between those two, you know. Um, but yeah, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, so excuse the noise in the background. I got to run like one fan or else I'll die in here because I record this in, in, in my room and it's like super hot in here. Like, whew. Like I run a, I got an AC in the, uh, in the living room, right? And that shit, for some reason, I'll close all the doors. It does not travel into my room. It doesn't make sense. Like, why isn't it um, traveling into my room? Like, come on, man. Like, I don't know. <laughs> but, but what's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Let me let me tell y'all about the week. What happened in the week? Well, I pretty much posted every single day what happened during my week. You know what I'm saying? So, um, still bouncing jobs, you know? But uh, listen, last night, you know, um, I've been doing my research heavy on Vegas. Um, I want to move to Vegas, but you know what I'm saying? My funds, they ain't all the way where I want it to be to be comfortable, you know? So I'm kind of debating on staying for the summer, just the summer, you know? Um, just so I could stack up a couple more grand, you know? Um, because I actually found a job that I like and I, it doesn't stress me out it's cool as hell like i really like this job get to meet a whole bunch of rich people um majority of the day i'm riding in a truck you know what i'm saying um i, I get to travel from out of the state you know um now nowhere crazy like wisconsin that's it you know wisconsin and way up north in my state but uh it's cool you know i don't gotta be trapped in a building all day so i get to see like you know meet different people that's what i really like you know what i'm saying i want a job like i'd even take like a servant job you know like a like a waiter or something you know just to like be around meet new people and stuff i actually like to like even though i say i'm an introvert i like to like talk to to people you know what i'm saying meet new people it, it's interesting to like pick people's brains sometimes and learn new things about people damn i'm sweating man <laughs> it, it, it's super hot um but yeah um so the update like i um i don't know if majority of my subscribers just tune in for this podcast or they just tune in for the daily videos but um what was i gonna say <coughs> shit oh, excuse me um got hair on my face uh what was i gonna say damn 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 so I looked up at this apartment. It's a new, newly re renovated apartment. I found it's a studio apartment, fully furnished. You know what I'm saying? And it's only a thousand dollars. Well, like a thousand ninety-five dollars a month, which isn't bad because I'm paying like twelve hundred for this one bedroom, so it's a little less, you know. And um, it's only a three-month lease, so I could do like a like a three-month lease there. You know what I'm saying? And and then stack up a couple more grand and then bounce you know what i'm saying bounce in september which is cool you know what i'm saying um it's not like i'm really missing anything because things are slowly but surely like vegas stuff is getting back to normal like it's 100 percent. but you know they're still strong they're having their little issues here and there i want everything to be pretty much back to normal you know by the time uh 
I get there. But if I don't, it all depends on if I get approved for this apartment or not. I don't know if I'm gonna get approved or not because I just start, I've been bouncing jobs and they want proof of income. I got the funds, you know what I'm saying? I can pay the first, and I told them I can pay first and next month's rent. So that's not an issue, you know? Um, but uh, they're like, they're like, um, they'll get back to me on Monday. So I'll see what they say. If they say I'm approved, then I'll probably just go move in there until September, and then September I'll move to Vegas, which is, you know, not far away. Stay for the summer, um, build some experience with this job that I'm, you know, liking, I'm not really stressed out at, man. Um, and yeah, um, but if I don't get approved, I'm gonna just stick to plan A, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> get, get Stay in a hotel for like two weeks, and um, Bam, I'm gone, you know? I'm just gonna bounce out, you know? Cause that's the only apartment I can find where it's just like flexible lease. I never found an apartment where it's, you can sign a lease for three months, you know? That's pretty dope, you know? And I, I looked at the pictures, it looks pretty dope. Read the reviews, looks dope. I drove past the place a couple times. I haven't seen the inside, so I don't know. But the reviews are all pretty good. It's just a shitty neighborhood. But it's the neighborhood I grew up in. It's where all that George Floyd stuff happened. I grew up over there, you know what I'm saying? That's my hood, you know what I'm saying? So people say it's shitty, but um, I feel comfortable over there because I grew up over there, you know what I'm saying? Um, so it's not really bad for me. And people don't really mess with me. I don't really have problems with people, you know? People don't, um, I mind my business, people don't bother me, you know? And if they do bother me, then they're gonna have problems. Not Like I said, I'm not a tough guy, but you know, um, I don't take shit from people, you know, so, yeah, there's that, so that's the plan for, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if I'm 100% on this, but, uh, you know, the clock's ticking, and I want to have all my, my ducks in a row before I just pack up and move, you know what I'm saying, um, my brother, which I respect him a lot, you know what I'm saying, my younger brother, he packed up and moved here. He packed up and left here with a thousand dollars in his pocket, thousand dollars, you know. <laughs> and he never came back. He he had some struggles. He had some hell of a lot of struggles, you know. But uh, he never came back. <laughs> I'm not gonna air his business out on here, you know. That's for him to talk about. But uh, you know, um, oh, we're supposed to be trying to get a podcast together together. I'm just. With this move, all this stressful shit that's happening right now, it's really hard for me to f dial in on this shit, you know? And so, that's in the works. But, uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, he packed up and moved to Pennsylvania with a thousand dollars in his pocket, never looked back. And I, I talk to him like every week or every two weeks, you know? And he, tell, he tells me like, man, shit, I ain't never coming back. I ain't never, never coming back. And he, he went through the whole experience. He's still doing it down there, grinding it out. You know what I'm saying? Working the little shitty jobs up here. Um, and he was just telling me, like, man, I ain't I ain't coming back up here. And there's nothing for me up there. And I feel the same exact same way. Like, there's nothing for me up here. Um, really, all I got up here is the gym, you know, and the lake. I've been hitting the lake. That's why I'm so super red, you know what I'm saying? When it's nice out and I got time, I'll, I'll, I'll go walk around the lake a couple of times, you know, get my cardio in and uh, take the shirt off and show off the gains, you know? <laughs> um, but, yeah, um, that's pretty much what, uh, what's going on with me. I don't know if I'm 100% positive if I'm going to stay through the summer or not. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get approved for this place, but I don't know. I, I might just say F it, you know. I already paid for the application fee. The application fee was $50, but uh, I just want to have all my ducks in a row, you know what I'm saying, before going to a new place and um, not knowing the area, not knowing what's going on there, you know. I just want to be 100% dope with it, you know. Um, what else, what else? What's going on in the world? I have no clue what's going on in the world. <laughs> I'm um I'm a YouTube head, but I don't be like watching news shit. Like sometimes I'll just watch. Y'all ever watch that uh that live PD on YouTube? Like I know it was a TV show. Well, my friend he told me it was a TV show. I didn't know it was a TV show, but uh he told me it was a TV show, and um uh I be bent man. I be losing my train of thought and shit. It's like damn. But I'd be binge watching the shit out of that sometimes, you know? It'd be some crazy people on there. That's like the new cops. I grew up watching cops and stuff, you know? But, uh, yeah, uh, 
haven't really been doing much you know what i'm saying just going to the lake job hopping um getting fired <laughs> um going to the grocery store hitting on girls here and there you know um yeah it's just I'm I'm be straight up honest with y'all when I say I'm stressing these videos I'm not just doing it for the views like I am super stressed like um it's just a lot on my mind right now and it's hard to deal with you know but I just gotta keep I just gotta keep on grinding you know what I'm saying keep on pushing and that's what you know we all go through it sometimes we all you know struggle in life like I don't even know like like honestly i don't even know if i want to do acting you know it's like i don't got any skills i don't want to be really be a laborer anymore but i do want to get into the entertainment business so i don't know like i say i want to be an actor but like i don't apply myself to these additions and even when i'm like maybe i gotta move to do that because in minnesota there's nothing going on out here for that you know um but uh I'm not applying myself like it's just like you say you want to do something but then you don't do it like what are you doing with your life you know and then I say like like I come home and I, I get out and get in these like YouTube binges just YouTube binge YouTube binge YouTube binge YouTube binge and <clears throat> maybe I gotta start like doing more things though you know start doing like more group events and um saying yes to more things you know like um i was talking to my friend had hit me up we haven't talked in a while my friend hit me up through text and he was like let's go to wisconsin dells this weekend and i told him yeah but i don't get off work till like seven i end up getting off work at 6 30 and then i just ain't even hit him up man i was just like i just stayed here you know um and he even told me like man you ain't even got to spend no money through the text and I was just like I don't know man like that's how you know you got a real cool person when he real cool like a rider homie when he wants you to just get out with him and hang out with him and you ain't got to spend no money man that's my boy man I, I fuck with him heavy even though we don't you know talk like every day on a daily you know but uh yeah um I just Went to the gym that night. That's when I did that. It's Friday night and I'm in the gym, you know. Went to the gym, worked out super hard. Came home and didn't um, didn't do anything, you know. Didn't do much of anything. Just sat in the house. Um, this life I'm living, though, is not the life, you know what I'm saying? It can't be life, you know. Maybe I got to start, like, I got to start saying yes to more. Like I said, I got to start saying yes to more stuff. I got to start, like, um you know trying to make more friends like i said like you should try to talk like i do talk to people every day like i just met this dude in the gym today um met a couple girls yesterday um hey y'all seen that steve harvey thing um where he said men and women can't be friends do y'all think like men and women can't be friends because like he was basically saying like the dude's just gonna be your the girl's friend just to get in her pants but i don't know i've had like homegirls in pan uh, in the past you know what i'm saying that were dating my like homeboys that i was cool with you know that i called my friends um and then i've had girls that i'm not attracted to that are like that were friends i guess i don't know that's weird you know what i'm saying guys can't be friends with girls you know um but yeah, hey, I'm so happy this mad shit is over with, though, you know? I know I talked about this in my last podcast, but I am so over this stupid mad shit. Like, man, um, I don't even wear my shit no more, you know what I'm saying? I be going in the stores, I don't wear it, you know? People be looking at me, hey, man, it's over with. You don't, you don't watch the news? I don't watch the news either, but it's over with, buddy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, uh... Uh, uh, it's good. I'm goofy, man. I don't know. I was gonna say something else and I forgot. Maybe it's because the heat is getting to me because it is so hot in here right now, y'all. Like, y'all don't even know, man. It's super hot. But, uh, oh, I had my cheat day yesterday. I mean, I should do another cheat day video. You know, I haven't done one of those in a minute, you know. Um, but I had 
those cookies with frosting in it. Then I got six, count them, six Cinnabons, the big ones, not the minis, big ones. I could only finish five of them, and the last one didn't make it, you know, so it was left over for the day. And anything, what I do with these cheat days so I don't like end up going into like a bin cycle, anything that doesn't make it into the next day, I automatically throw it in the garbage. I throw it in the garbage. You might think it's a waste, but hey, man, I can't afford to, like, um, mess up my diet like that. You know what I'm saying? Because if it's in my house or if it's in my vicinity, I'll eat it. You know what I'm saying? If I got some cookies in the cover, I'll be too. I don't have that type of willpower. I'll go in there and eat it, you know? <laughs> like, I got to get that shit out of here. So, I throw it away instantly. And then, um, yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I had for my cheat day. I walked around the mall, like, um, I walked around two lakes yesterday. Two big-ass lakes. I walked around two lakes. Then I went to the mall later on that day. Walked around the mall, like, six times. Got, like, two girls' numbers. Um, not that it's, like, bright. I just did it, you know what I'm saying? I just, probably not even gonna text them, you know? <laughs> it's just, like, I don't know. Um, um... What else? Yeah, and now it's Sunday. I cooked up all my food, went to the gym, worked out today. Um, it was back and buys. Uh, anything special happened? Nope. Um, damn, and I was supposed to hang out with my family today, man, but I, I got kind of a late start. Like, I've been, you know what I'm saying? I've been waking up lately. I've been, like, waking up and just laying in the bed and laying in my thoughts for, like, 30 minutes when I got free time, you know what I'm saying? When I don't have to work, you know what I'm saying? Like on the weekends, I lay in a bit for like 30 to 45 minutes after my alarm goes off and just sit there and think and roll over and just like think about my life. Like, man, I gotta figure something out, man. Like, if it's not acting, I gotta get into something. Like that Dave Batista interview, I watched that with the Ellen shit, like, he was just like, that resonate, I'm not a fan of his, like, I'm not a super fan of him, you know, but that, like, resonated with me super hard because, like, uh, he was just like, man, I had two kids, I was broke, I was just wasted my whole 20s in the clubs and bars, you know what I'm saying? I was just bouncing, I had no future, I had no skills, that resonated with me, like, super hard, the only thing he got that I ain't got is two kids, I ain't got no kids, you know what I'm saying? But, uh... He was just like, I had to do something with my life. So I started uh, wrestling. And then I, I ended up getting into movies through that, you know? And shit, I feel like Vegas would be the perfect place for me to get into, like, entertainment business some some way, somehow, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't got shit going right now, you know what I'm saying? I, I really don't, you know? I ain't got no skills. Yes, I'm learning how to put in hot tubs, but do I really want to do that shit? Hell no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that, you know? It's not going to... No, <laughs> no, that's not, that doesn't interest me, you know, it's cool right now, but yeah. Uh, see you guys tomorrow if you're planning to tune in tomorrow for the daily uploads. I appreciate all the support, I appreciate everybody. Um, please subscribe if you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel. Um, and like the video because it helps the algorithm and comment down below. I know I, it's, I kind of hate saying that, so I stopped saying that for a while, but thank you. See you guys tomorrow.